James, what's going on, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Good. Three Stripes Life now. For real. Yeah, so tell me, in regards to Adidas, the selling points, what made you want to go with Adidas? I just like the, the vibe, uh, the direction they're going in, they're headed towards. Obviously, they had a, you know, a couple of really good basketball players and, and athletes over there, but I feel like the two, you know, myself and the brand can merge together and uh, you know, really make something special. Yeah, definitely. So did you reach out to any of the other Adidas brand members there? Like you have Lillard, Andrew Wiggins yeah. and all those guys? No, I hadn't had, I had an opportunity to reach out to them, you know. But uh, you know, I'm sure you know we'll, we'll definitely be in contact. You know, Dame and you know Andrew and all the other guys. Right, right. So now describe your off-court style. I know you're very big into fashion. Tell us what you'll be doing with it in regards to Adidas. Just kind of putting my put my print, putting my touch on it. My style is not really the normal. It's basically however I feel. You know, and I'll I'll make people adjust to you know what I wear and, and what I do. And so you know, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of great things that, that happens with with Adidas, and I'm I'm genuinely excited about it. Yeah, and on court wise, I know you're very big into comfort. Yeah. Uh, we've talked over the right. years about that. What have you noticed in the Adidas models so far that you tried? Yeah, I haven't I haven't had an opportunity to, to rock them yet, but um, just hearing the, the the fact you know they got you know shoes that are light, you know, that are very comfortable, durable, and that'll fit my foot well. You know, I do a lot of change of direction, a lot of, you know, Euro stepping and whatnot, but so I need something that's gonna, you know, lock into my foot. And, you know, from, from the from the, the, the hearing, uh, you know, the talks, um, you know, they got some shoes that, that can definitely fit. But like I said, you know, we're locked in for a long time. So there's gonna be a lot of great things that happen with this, uh, with myself and the brand. Now, we're talking history of Adidas. I know you grew up in L.A. What kind of caught your eye as far as Adidas classics that you have known over the years? Just everything, you know, from, like you said, superstars like, you know, Kobe who had the Crazy Eights and, and T-Mac and just all those, you know, great, you know, old players that you know, played the game, you know, and then you got like the, the jumpsuits and the, and, the, and the run DMC kind of swag, you know, so they got a lot of retros and uh, a lot of cool stuff that, you know, needs to be brought back to life that I'm, I'm willing to do and, and one of the reasons I'm here. Right, right. Now in the future, do you ever see yourself with a signature? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, and, and that's not going to happen overnight. You know, right. it's going to take some time, but, um, you know, I'm looking forward to working with an amazing Adidas team and uh, I'm sure they have a lot of, you know, great ideas that they're just waiting to throw at me and, I, and, and vice versa. So uh, when I get the opportunity to kind of, you know, meet with them and go over ideas, uh, I'm sure we'll cook up some, you know, pretty dope and, um, you know, exciting. Yeah, and I've seen over the years Adidas has grown exponentially with uh, celebrities as yeah. far as Pharrell, Nicki Minaj, all these people. What have you seen from a off-court standpoint as far as fashion? Does that intrigue you? They got a lot, lot of, lots of positive, you know, energy going. You know, you know, with you know Pharrell and you know, Kanye. The Yeezys is a, is a beast. You know, yeah. just I like how. You know, it was marketed, it was branded, you know, how it was just, it was hard to get that shoe. You know, if you got it, you just, you had some swag to you. And so I feel like it's my job where I have an opportunity to kind of merge myself, you know, obviously on the basketball court, but, you know, off the court as well with those guys and, and collab and, and make some dope. But it's a lot of opportunity, a lot of, a lot of great passion that's going to come uh, for myself in, in Three Stripes. Now we're surrounded by three stripes. Give me the top five that kind of intrigue you right now, as far as that you can wear off court. You know what? For me, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't really usually follow trends. I just, you know, however I feel that particular day, that's what I throw on. So any of these kicks, you know, I, I can, I can rock and be comfortable and, um, and uh, make people follow me. You know, and, and that's what it's about. And it's, and it's not about, you know, what people are wearing the wave or, or whatnot. It's about creating your own lane and making sure that. You're just confident in whatever you do. What are your thoughts on being the face of Adidas basketball? Because now you are the premier athlete as far as basketball-wise. How do you take that on? I just like I take on any other challenge, you know. Continue to work hard, continue to you know, be motivated, and just focus. Focus on what needs to be done. It's not new. It's, there's been a few situations where I've just been, you know, put on something and, and kind of like, you know, you're the leader. You got to go out here and figure it out, you know. And so this is another scenario. but. Um, I feel like it's, it's a great group that, um, that, that's behind me and that's willing to work with me and, and like I said, I'm excited, I'm excited for the opportunity to be here and, um, you know, and, and there's going to be some fun, fun, uh, fun things coming up this way. Do you ever see yourself playing in the Yeezy shoe on court? You never know. Sheesh. <laughs> Nah, I mean, I might try to shoot it a little bit, but, you know, for me, 
if they don't have any, you know, stability, then I don't know if I can rock them on the court. Yeah. I do a lot of change of direction, a lot of step backs and whatnot. So. Definitely.